guys, my name is Subzero Xtabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic, and that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to play a new sort of game mode where we can upgrade ourselves into anything we want so let's get right to it and give the wolves the free space they want. You know what a really important factor is of keeping a wolf happy? Well that is the free space you giving him. The more free space you give him the more he will thrust you. And yes ladies and gentlemen thrust me I learned this all of this in a wolf camp. I once went to a wolf camp where there were more than 100 wolves that were training to become an attack wolf. So those trainings were very hard and there was a lot of things going on at the same time. You could see that people really were doing all they can to make these wolves battle ready. By the time I was there I was living in a wartime and everything and everyone that lived in the war had to contribute to the war. So the wolf also had a part to fulfill. In the end the big factions made peace with each other before any fighting but it was just cool to see how the wolves got trained to become super wolves. So for this house we are not gone make anything special it is just gone be a basic house for them where they can have shelter when it starts raining or something. Or have a place for in the cold nights. The reason I am making this basic house is that the wolves won't be staying indoors long they will probably be outside for over the day and go back inside during the night and sleep. So yes because of that reason I will first just start with something basic and if I come to a realize that they are using the house more often than I tough then we always can improve it with something more modern and everything that comes looking next to it. I don't actually know how much wolves we are gone spawn here how much would fit but I think they're fit a good amount. So we will gone need to sort that out for a bit and if it appears that we get room shortage then we will just make more room for them by extending the house. We could do everything that is the thing I like of making something new you can always adjust your plan if things go a different way that you didn't hop for. So where are at the moment the house is already getting a bit of a shape. Let's also make the floor of wood because I yes I know wolves like grass but then they would have grass inside and outside. I think that would be too much for them a bit of everything is better than everything the same. Talking about not making everything the same while well, I think we should two houses I think one just won't work out for them. If we make two then they could move from one to the other and I also make another spot where they could get together but I don't know if I am gone call that a house because that just will be a couple of blocks and some fences around it. So let's call that a meeting point for now. So we will be making two houses and one meeting point for the wolves. I think that should do the job of keeping them happy and together. Because you see the main reason I am doing this is because I always have problem when I try to pet wolves and that is that they keep walking away. So I leave them one day and suddenly they are gone. Do they need attention every day or am I doing something wrong I have no idea. Hold up there might be something else maybe mobs attack them overnight when I am gone could that be a possibility. Because if that is the problem where what was laying there for me to solve it need to handle fast and make the houses as soon as possible. Yes I think I am pretty sure that the wolves get attacked in the night and I didn't even notice is. So that is kind of weird. Normally I am an expert at everything that involves mobs but this thing I just didn't realize. But that isn't a problem anymore because with the houses I am gone build they will be safe and there will be a lot of light so they are not able to spawn nearby. So I think it is time for us to spawn in more wolves and make baby wolves. Yes guys we are gone spawn in more wolves I like the idea of that. If you were wondering why I am not gone look for them and bring them in well that is because I am just savage and I can do whatever I want ha ha ha. Ah no I am just too lazy to do all the finding work. So then I just spawn them and there is nothing wrong with spawning things guys. Minecraft is made to spawn things so we are all good yes so yes I think this is enough wolves or should we do more. No I think this is enough for the time being. But there is something that is missing and I have no idea what. Oh I think I know yes guys we miss beds in here where the wolves can sleep on. Beds are really important so they can sleep here as well. Again a wonderful idea of my I am coming up with so much great ideas guys that I maybe should be professor. Ha 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 professor of the wolves who had ever tough that I could be a professor. No I am kidding I could be a professor I have a lot of things to do I have no time to be a professor. So now let's start training these wolves. I will use a method of training that I saw in the training. 
training camp where they run around the fields and look for targets that they could attack like for example a sheep is a good target they will learn how to protect me and put in an attack. Something really important is that you are gonna need to thrust the wolves with whatever they do sometimes wolves can be better at handling situations so don't get in shock if they do something without you asking that might just be that they are protecting you. That is why I like the wolves they are great L listeners but they can also decide what to in some really hard situations. So that said you now kind of getting to know how the wolves think always remember that. I will tell you a story that happened to me when I only had one wolf in my early days of Minecraft I just started playing and I didn't know that much about the game. Thankfully I already made a friend that kind explained me how everything works so this friend told me that I should get a wolf as soon as possible because they just help you a lot with anything you do so that is what I did when looking for a wolf and I found him and petted him and everything I even made his own playing area. He was really good wolf. So one day I went mining in this huge cave where there was almost everything I needed from irons to diamonds everything it was just the perfect place to mine so yes I started mining everything went well my wolf was by my side all the time so I never really felt lonely. Suddenly when I was mining I hear the wolf attacking something I turned around and didn't really see what was going on so I putted some torches down to see what he was doing and there he was fighting solo with a group of mobs it made me so proud to see him protecting me that I didn't see him as a wolf from that moment on but as a real friend that was always maybe we should climb the tallest building in the world of Minecraft like King Kong yes that is a nice idea because I like King Kong he is so big and strong did you guys see the movie that was such a hard thing to watch when he died I almost cried we could avenge him but I think I won't hold it as long as he did because he was just the boss but if we can't be stronger than him then we should be smarter am I right prankster so what could place instead of his strength so the main danger of King Kong was that there were planes shooting at him right well yes he had nothing to shoot back if we take a bow and arrows with us we should be fine so when the planes come hunting for my we could easily shoot them down why am I so smart guys I mean it like sometimes I think in myself like darn sub you really smart but hold up let's say the fighter jets really come what is an arrow gone do against it a jet fighter with rockets and mini guns against my bow and arrow well then guess I will die no I am kidding because I am not gone climb the tallest building in the world of Minecraft I will just stay here and have some fun with it till everything is over alright so as you can see right now that is my jumping around the chickens really really tall there is nothing that they can do against my because I am so powerful I bet the mobs are not gone come now when I am so tall I bet they won't you know that the mobs are really smart right? They even know when to strike and when not. I once was in ahead of a creeper and could see what he was thinking on that exact moment. It was really scary because I always tough that mobs had no brains and just did everything to kill you but no ladies and gentlemen I can now confirm that mobs really think. They can adjust themselves in every situation that they are. So if they see my this big well no way they will try to kill me. Guys while well, that got my thinking. Why don't we give everyone a position to get bigger so the mobs will get afraid of us and never attack us anymore while that is best idea I ever had. But then there are some problems because we are gonna need to adjust everything we have. Every house, every public building that we have will need to get bigger as well so I have no idea if we can manage that. Steve will help, I think that chip will also help but for the rest of the community. Let me know what you prankster think because it is a good idea and no this is not a joke I am serious. A world where people rule the world and mobs hide in a deep cave waiting for us to hunt them. I should tell ASA and this because you remember the project they wanted to with the space rockets and everything I told you that in a video before well yay they were not sure because this planet is really nice we have everything that we need here. Well if you guys can't remember the space plan this is a quick throwback to that plan. You remember ASA and the company that did things with space yes. So I was talking with them one day and we were talking about leaving this planet. Yes ladies and gentlemen leaving the planet of Minecraft and start somewhere else on another planet where there were no mobs they already discovered some planets where there were no mobs at all the only thing that there was was a big dragon but if we would send the first men up there and we train them to find a dragon then we could kill it and then send the rest of 
The Minecraft players I know that is a hard job to do but thrust me it is worth it because then you can have a life without mobs. So the first thing we would do is kill then dragons then start making a lot of rockets that could help us get a lot of people on this world. Then we start a small colony that can start preparing for everyone else that is gone come after that is done we need to discover how to make spaceships. Those spaceships will we station in a big mothership and with the big mothership we will head towards the new planet. So that would have been plan B. But there was this other plan with the armor you remember yes where we could look exactly the same as normal mobs yes the plan was to attack the mob strongholds where their queen was living well something really bad happened we had everything planned out where every stronghold was located and everything so the invasion started at the same time ever attack group attack but the mobs knew that we were coming in so they prepared themselves and flighted us back it was a huge battle that we lost but we didn't lose the war. Unfortunately we lost a lot of brave and good men that day. But it was not all for nothing because the mobs now know that we are able to attack as well so they are a bit afraid. ASAN is thinking to do another attack but they are afraid because they have no idea how the mobs knew that we were coming. The first thing that they toughed is that they have been scouted out but they don't know how. Or there is this more scary option and that is the fact that there is a spy in ASAN that tells the mobs everything that is going on. I once attended a high congress where they were de-discussing the fact if there was a spy and how could they find him. Well so it came down to in that there has to be a reorganization with means that everyone that works at ASA and needs to be released from the work that they are doing and start taking on new people but that would cost the company a lot of work and time. So they went for plan B and this is the part that I jump in because they gave me the mission to find this traitor and bring him down to justice. So in the couple of weeks I am gone have a huge investigation with and who is gone be trusted and who will be protected spies but it is really hard because I cannot thrust anyone even my good friends that work at ASA and can be potential spies I would be really mad if that is the case imagine chip being the spy I could live with myself than anymore but let's hope that is not the case let's just think positive and hope there is no spy and if there is I promise I will find him I won't let you down on this being a spy is really hard that I do know because everything you do is fake it won't last forever at one point you will have to go back to your normal life yeah Yes that is some dangerous life you are living then but I think it will be for a better cause. It is funny that you are seeing me running here because I am so tall I am like a mountain a moving mountain with TNT in his hand well that just sounds savage don't you guys think moving mountain with TNT alright. My new name is gonna be the mountain with TNT. No wait I don't like the with part let's call it explosive mountain yes that is really savage people will be afraid of hearing that name like who won't if someone comes up to you and says run for your life the explosive of mountain is coming well you will run as fast as a jaguar like speedy ha 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 i would really laugh if that ever happens just look at my face it is so big and nice yes i like it really oh yes it are the fire bombs this has a nice history behind it we had these bombs for a long time but nobody ever tried to really work on it but finally the team did it and as you can see it works very well. These bombs were made from a long time ago when the Arabs came with gunpowder. Gunpowder was something really special and nobody really knew what to do with it but after doing some magic this beautiful bomb came up. This will be something we are going to use a lot especially to those groups of skeletons that always try to shoot at on target. The hard thing about skeletons are that they come in groups and then aim for one target until you have killed them one by one. But then you already have catched some arrows. But from now on that won't happen anymore you just throw one of these and everything is done. Say we are really improving in our arsenal against those darn mobs sometimes I just want to go myself there and kill every one of them one by one kill 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 but that isn't so easy. Did you guys know the mobs have a king? Yes a mob king that is in charge of everyone. They call him mob king he looks like a zombie but then a huge one like normal femal stick person are two meters but this one is huge like 10 meters may be bigger we don't know if you guys have some popcorn then you guys came prepared but to the guys that don't have popcorn pause this video and get just a bit of popcorn right now or if you have some chips and stuff that is also great so yeah the story wait you didn't take your popcorn okay then go ahead mate you are a true rebel but yeah this rebel right here that didn't take any popcorn or something else to eat is going to be bummed out when he hears this amazing story and he doesn't have any popcorn. But anyways guys, let's proceed, now shall we? Well this sword is really great as you can see. But will the guy that I was talking about once heard from the local villagers that there was a sword somewhere deep down in a cave. There was obsidian and some redstone torches, and in the middle, there was this chest. No one dared to open the chest. 
there might have been ghost inside of the chest or something else. No villager was sure about that. So, they just didn't open the chest and they lived happily ever after, but great stories were told that the thing that was inside the chest was a giant that would protect you for life. But the other villager would tell you that if you opened the chest a witch would come out of her swamp house and hunt you for good, and that there was no escaping the witch. So, Bill was not really sure what he heard when he was in the village, and as I said in the beginning of the video. From other stories from those same villagers that had aged over the years told me when I visited that Bill was a really brave and curious guy and he would enjoy helping the villagers out so he did just that. And all by himself he went to the cave. He searched for a bit and he was just mining and stuff, and he has some valuable things in his inventory but then eventually he came across this thing that matched the description of what the wise villagers gave him about that chest that was in the middle of some obsidian bowl. That is it for today's video but I will see you back in the next one so for now I say goodbye.